Good morning, day eight on the PCT. Um, just made it back to trail, stayed, uh, took the day off yesterday at Mountain Valley Retreat. Oh my God, that place is amazing. Um, I'd probably, I'd put, definitely put it in like the top four to five places that I've stayed on all the trails I've hiked, maybe even in the top two. Um, yeah, like the value you get for your money, you get all the normal stuff that you do everywhere else, you know, laundry, shower, a bed and all that stuff, but then you also get home cooked meals. So last night, um, I did like a, a gluten free chicken and pasta with some great vegetables in it and um, in like a tomato basil type of sauce and a nice fresh, uh, spinach salad that was delicious uh, very filling and then I, I did they offer breakfast in the morning but I kind of skipped on the breakfast just to get back to trail sooner um, it's uh, about nine o'clock um, so starting a little later than I wanted but um, the other great value there is uh, Sherry the owner she does like a seven o'clock uh, yoga in the morning <clears throat> basically uh, I would say light yoga, more <clears throat> more geared towards um, yoga or stretching for uh, on the trail. So that basically types of stuff that you can do in your tent. Um, so that was very, very uh, helpful and something you typically don't get anywhere. So yeah, anyway, a great place to stay back on trail. I've got roughly about three days to my next resupply stop, which is at the Paradise Valley Cafe. Oh, uh, that's where I'll pick up my ice spikes and my whippet before heading up to San Jacinto. So, uh, onward we go. It's only uh, 9.30. It's already starting to heat up. It's uh, supposed to get up to 82 today which would be the I guess the hottest day I've had so far so I'm hoping I can keep up this umbrella a good bit of the day to help out with the heat well got stopped for the first time by a forest service ranger going to uh, check to make sure I had my PCT permit on me, so I had to get to carry a paper copy of your permit, so I pulled it out, set it down, and he let me on my way, but yeah, it's the first time I've been uh, checked for it, so. to the Warner Springs uh, Spur Trail. Uh, this post here. There's a post office is 1.2 miles. There's also a community center in there, but it's at the school where you can get like a bucket bath and uh, water. But during school hours, uh, you're not allowed in there, so you can't. You can't go in there until like three o'clock. But that's where a lot of people have a box of food sent. I'm just passing through, not planning to go in there. So, continuing on down trail, onward we go. These cows didn't want to let me through. sure if I just walked through mud or a uh, bunch of cow shit. <laughs> it does have a, uh, kind of stinks, but oh well. Oh, I found a nice spot to take lunch in this shady area. 
at a uh, picnic table. I'm about 10 miles in for the day. I'd like to do another eight or 10 a day, but I got a late start, so we'll see how it goes. So, got water in about a quarter mile, so I'll eat and get back on the trail. It's been uh, pretty brutal today. Uh, I'm having to stop many, many times um, in order to like kind of help prevent my like chronic fatigue from setting in. My goal is to, like keep my heart rate under 130 beats a minute. So once it gets to like 140, I really, really slow my pace. If it doesn't lower because of that, then I just to stop hiking altogether. <laughs> so in the past 10 minutes, I've had to stop to take a couple breaks because it keeps on climbing into that 140, even above the 150 heartbeat range. Uh, so yeah, umbrella helps, but it's been so overgrown in this area. It's just constantly putting it up, taking it down, putting it up, taking it down. That slows me even more, but yeah, just trying to manage the heart rate in this uh, heat. But yeah, it's pretty hot today. So I made it to camp. It was only 16 today, so I didn't tents over there. Um, yeah, it was only 16 today, getting that late start. Uh, kind of affected the miles I wanted to do today. And I also took off like about two hours in the afternoon just to kind of escape the heat and just lay down for a little bit. And I also kind of screwed up. I missed my last water source. I still have about, I don't know, about a half liter, maybe three quarters liter to get me through the night. And then about three miles tomorrow morning. So I'd missed the last one. So I got another three miles to my next one tomorrow morning. Thankfully, I did start cold soaking my dinner <laughs> before I got water the last time. So I didn't need any water for dinner tonight because I'm cold soaking tonight. But that's how it goes. So I think I'll still be okay. But yeah, that's it for, uh, I guess today was day eight. So uh, see how it goes tomorrow. Good morning. It's uh, day nine on the PCT. I'm just getting moving. It's a little, uh, it's like uh, six o'clock. So, uh, got a, uh, I guess a normal start time this morning. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, a little cool with the breeze. Main goal for today is to get to some water. I only got like maybe a I don't know, less than a quarter of a liter. So I've got about two and a half miles to the first water source. So that's where I'm headed first. Um, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Onward we go. The air is uh, super thick this morning. You can feel just like a lot more humidity in the air than there has been up to this point. I think there's a storm system coming through. Um, I heard that they're uh, at the higher elevations. Might be a couple days of some snow. I'm not sure yet, I haven't checked the forecast yet myself. But at the very least, uh, rain. It could mean uh, maybe some Maybe some snow <laughs> when I get up into the San Jacinto area. I guess we'll see. I think it's coming in this weekend, um, which is, yeah, I guess right about the time I'd be up in the San Jacinto area. But I guess we'll find out. Onward we go. Water source for this morning. Apparently, this is the Lost Valley Spring. There's still a good bit of water in there, but yeah, be good to get me the next eight miles. All 
Lots of little lizards all over the place. There goes one. Oh, where'd he go? Up there. Ooh. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Made it to the uh, spur trail for uh, Mike's place. So uh, Mike's place, a uh, guy named Mike <laughs> own, owns the place. Um, from what I understand, this is like his second home. So he's not there during the week, but uh, he allows PCT hikers to camp on his property if they want. And he has a big water tank. Uh, this is a pretty dry section so uh has a water tank where you can fill up your water bottles and stuff um because it's like another 10 miles to the next water source so yeah pretty cool it's nice that uh he provides the water and you know he can camp on his property for pct hikers so thanks mike onward we go to get some water like there's like uh four big water tanks here only one has like a valve on it so i guess this is the one to use looks like you still need to filter your water uh, down here is uh i guess his house and where you can camp we'll check that out Had a good rest at Mike's place. Now I'm back on the trail. Grabbed enough water to uh, get me the next uh, 10 miles, which is the next water source, and where I think I'm going to plan on camping for the night. But it's starting to heat up pretty good. But after that first climb, it seemed to be going a little bit better with the breathing and the elevation and that first climb this morning. So that's good. On where we go. Getting a much better view of San Jacinto today. I'll put up a clip here, but mountain off to the right. The closest one with snow is San Jacinto, so there's still a little bit of uh, uh, still some snow up there. And the mountain snow covered more to the left or behind it is, I guess that's the Big Bear area. So that one, Big Bear, looks like it has a lot more snow still left than. Uh, and just simple but that's been pretty cool to see today oh i cannot wait to get to camp these past couple days it's been a scorcher out uh, i think i got like a mile and a half left to camp which should leave me on the like 11 miles tomorrow to the uh, Paradise Valley Cafe. We're picking up my next food box. So, yeah, onward to camp. I uh, made it to camp finally. It was like a little over 23 miles today, which is my biggest day so far. Um, but there's one, like, I guess, water source that people reported had like a lot of rust in it. So, I Avoid that so I kept on going so I'm gonna eat and go to bed and get up tomorrow and hit up the Paradise Valley Cafe I got a couple more days of food waiting that I don't need to get over San Jacinto I am down in the valley so not thrilled about that because I probably have a lot of condensation issues tonight because of that and um, all the moisture usually kind of gathers in the like valley so but oh well Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you all have a good night. Good morning. It's day 10. Uh, just got started a little bit ago. Got about 11, 12 miles to Paradise Valley Cafe where I'll pick up a food box. And then I'll uh, 
get back on the trail, see how far I can make it up San Jacinto. It'll be a shorter day, probably uh, only about 14 miles. So, hey, I'm gonna try and get there as quick as I can. Onward we go. Man, that thorn. I guess that's the thorn from part of a cactus that went right through my shoe into my foot. I'll wake you up in the morning. I just left the Paradise Dally Cafe a little bit ago. There was a couple coming out of town, so I uh, uh, we all hitched back the trail. It was only like a mile down the road. Uh, but there I had a nice large chicken salad and a burger with no bun. Um, had a food box with like three days of food in it that also had my uh, whip it whip it tool and ice spikes in it and my wife sent me uh, uh i think it's about six uh, gluten-free blueberry muffins and my uh wide uh regular length uh, sleeping pad so thanks babe i really appreciate that uh, really appreciate it Oh, and there's also my altitude sickness medication, so I already took one of those pills. Uh, got like a few more miles today, I'm gonna hike, and then I'll set up camp. Uh, and then over the next few days, I'll be going over the San Jacinto area. So, uh, that'll be in the next video. So, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you all have a good night.